Good afternoon, I'm Lee Milner. Police have been given extra powers this weekend to ask people suspected of antisocial behaviour to leave South End. It comes after a number of reports of so-called car cruising events planned for the area. Earlier this month, businesses had to close early as large groups of teenagers descended on the seafront. Thomas McGill reports. An investigation is underway into the cause of a fire at a building made up of flats in a business centre. A hundred firefighters were called to the hundreds of thousands of people will be in London over the next couple of days for the Notting Hill Carnival. And while many love it, some of the older residents living on the route have been offered a long weekend away in Eastbourne by the council. Alison Earle's been to meet them. Make that a fabulous time. Let's see what the weather's going to be like. Here's Sarah Thornton. Hello there. We've seen some lively downpours across London and the southeast today. Those downpours are clearing away though now. And overnight tonight, we're going to be dry and pretty clear actually. And uh, feel a little bit cool out towards the suburbs into the start of tomorrow morning. But temperatures in our towns, in uh, certainly the centre of the capital, staying low double figures. So dry with sunshine to start your Sunday. Don't be suckered by it because by mid-morning the shower clouds are returning to us. Again, some heavy, possibly thundery downpours for the afternoon. Drier, brighter interludes mixed in with all of that. It is a bit of a mixed picture. Now, Monday, there is a weak weather front just near us, but by the time it gets to us, not much on it. So would you believe that is the driest and the uh, brightest day of this bank holiday weekend? We start with some cloud in the morning on Monday. It'll be dry and sunny in the afternoon. Well, that's all from me. Have a lovely afternoon. Bye-bye.